everyone and welcome to our first uh, video on the channel. Today we're going to be clearing out the uh, clunch pit orchard. It's been overgrown for at least 25 years, been in the family over 50 years and um, just allowed to uh, grow to its own devices. So we don't know what we're going to do. Can't go in the main gate. Got this bolt hole here. We're going to go down here and uh, see what uh, what it all leads to and uh, we're going to be clearing it today with uh, just normal uh, normal tools, no power tools today, just hand tools and now we'll just run through some of the tools that we're going to be using and we'll clop over to those now and uh, and show you what we're going to okay. do. So uh, the first tool, this is a double edged uh, bill hook for clearing sort of normal growth up to about two inches um, in diameter got the big uh, big blade on this side and then just a small small blade on that side where you can get a bit more power um, so that's just a normal clearing bill hook this one this is a bill hook with the big sweeping bend on it's good for clearing high overhanging bushes and uh, low bracken in the bottom just for clearing out and hooking out anything that might get in our way this one is a handheld bill hook, good for clearing out bottom um, undergrowth and anything up to two or three inches. And uh, with that, you can get a good purchase on that. Pull it all out, get some good clearing going with that one. I've got two axes with me today. Standard, uh, standard axe. This one here. We probably won't use it at all because we're not going to do any tree felling or anything like that. We will uh, take it with us just in case we have any stumps or big objects that we need to um, move out of the way. Because what we're going to be doing is just trying to clear a pathway into, uh, into the orchard in the old clunch pit. And uh, so that we can actually see what we've got here and go from there. And this is uh, the small forest axe the uh, Swedish made one keep the protector on that this one here very sharp just keep the leather leather guide on there just for uh, for our own protection probably use that just to clear out uh, a little bit of wood on taking off some branches that uh, that could get in the way and then we've just got a selection of uh, a few files just to keep the edges nice and sharp with uh, with the movement and keep all the angles at the right uh, right shape so that uh, it's all uh, pretty good for cutting down and keeping sharp and keeping the tools maintained. Right, let's get into the orchard. Yeah, we're now in the clunch pit. As you can see, goes down all the uh, hollow there. That's where it was all excavated years ago. Clunch for building houses, churches, cathedrals. But obviously we've got all this in the way now. So we're gonna be tackling some of this, some of these trees, uh, bracken, undergrowth, just get it clear so that we can have a good walk round just to see how the clunch pit looks. Ryan and George come to lend a hand for the first initial clear obviously got safety in mind that we're all uh, we're all here looking after each other keeping everybody safe working at distance working away from each other Trying to clear this little bit. Bit of an overhang arch.
to give it an undercut. Good undercut there. Just take a little bit off the side. And come into the back, making sure it doesn't get hung up too much. Yeah, can do, mate. Can't do it with that, can I? No, no, break the handle. That's that down. It's got all the big upper growth now to worry about. Obviously it's hung up there quite a bit. Just been left to its own devices for a number of years.
and uh, well that's the end of uh, the first clearance in the uh, in the clunch pit they're the tools we've used today and uh, stood up to it quite well so uh, big old heap of uh, bracken wood behind us that we'll tidy up at a later date we'll uh, hopefully get in uh, the second video don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and we'll catch you all later thank you for watching Thank you.